anything about that. Chaotic. Hit me with those sweet Russian insults. I had a good Romanian friend who taught me some Romanian insults. I wonder if there are there are overlaps between Russian and Romanian insults, given the history of those countries. To designate a coordinate. Understood. Moving out. If I could transmute one aspect of Long War into Long War 2, what would it be? The thing that I think XCOM 2 lacks in general, that um, XCOM 1 did very Watch well that. and Long War 1 expanded on extremely well, okay. is unique enemies and unique counters to those enemies. So for example, in XCOM 1 you would get I'm going to talk about Long War 1, not XCOM 1. But in Long War 1, you get heat warheads, for example, and those are good at killing robots. That's pretty straightforward, sure. Hey, hey, hey! Ah, uh, Kami Scum! <laughs> it's registered with Advent Skynet. Thanks for the follow, Kami Scum. Oh my god, Lily, we'll shut need to up. Look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the show. Welcome to the channel, and thanks a lot for the support. Let's go... Position confirmed. ...between these two pods, if we can. Heading to that location. We should probably keep an eye on these guys and see if they... Okay. ...head back to the right. I think there's a problem with these mechs going down off rooftops while they're patrolling, and that's why that pod is where it is, because it's trying to get down from the rooftop, but can't work out how. Okay, anyway. Long War 1 did a really good job of having unique enemies who felt different to fight, and also, like, gave you different things when you killed them. Like, there were council requests for certain enemy corpses. There were autopsies, which did very real things. Like, acid grenades were a really big deal from Thin Man autopsies. Uh, what else? It's an extremely light, so this is all the pods on the map. Just decided to converge on me right now. Well, whatever. Affirmative. Consider the Thin Man in Long War 1. It's an enemy which has specific types of missions that it shows up on, because it's like their infiltrator missions, so it shows up on council missions. It has this very unique thing where when it gets killed, it turns into a cloud of poisonous gas, which hits you and enemies. And that's counterable with medkits, which are equipable, like at the point of the campaign where you're meeting these for the first time. So that's really cool. But then also, from the Thin Man, you can do an autopsy. It's so hard to talk about something while you're playing this game. It's just it's very frustrating. Um, you can do an autopsy, and then you can make your own acid grenades. And not only are the acid grenades really cool because of how they tie in with the way that Thin Men exploded when you killed them into clouds of acid. Moving out. But they also are very well balanced, such that the moment that you get them happens to be right when big robots are showing up. And the big robots happen to more or less require like a dedicated to position. tech to beat to well, coordinates. and acid grenades do a really good job of it. So you have these thin men, and they're very unique. Moving. 
there's all sorts of weird stuff about them, and it all ties into the progress of a campaign in a very balanced and sensible way. And everybody complains, like, Sidman have so much aim, rah rah rah, and it's irritating or whatever. Like, they have a unique identity. It feels very, very unique to fight a Thin Man. And the Thin Man, if anything, is probably one of the less unique of the enemies. It's, like, just a run-of-the-mill humanoid with a gun. So... I just really, really love that about Long War One, and I don't think that XCOM Two really does it. Enemies in XCOM Two just all feel like big bags of hit points, which you killed the same way. Well, this is awkward. I was. Not really hoping for that to pull the other pod. What happens if I walk forward? If I walk up here, I should be able to haywire. That's not happening. Okay, this is the first dangerous position I feel like I've been in, in this entire campaign. I wonder if I can stand here and get a step out. Flamethrower, yeah. That's really nice. That's a good start. Because this guy can no longer do anything unless we killed the mech somehow. We have to get right next to the stun lancer to guarantee a kill on it, I feel like. Or I could get right next to it and just arc through for it. It's very hard to deal with the stun lancer. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one guy who I can't see at the moment. No, I killed him on Overwatch. Okay. I might just move back. Hmm. This seems like a good moment to gamble on a drone mimic beacon. It doesn't hurt me too much to miss this, and it helps a lot if I hit it. I think I've missed the last four of those that I've tried. He's blocking me out. So in that case, we're going to go... I'm actually going to running gun to here. Try to kill this, please. Went off the armor. This is not really improving. Why does my assault not have, like, item? That might be a good idea for next time. I want to make a note for myself. Give assault items next, <laughs> next time. The mech is completely untouched, completely uncontrolled, and will hopefully not kill us. Also, hopefully I will still have active soldiers next turn.
That had a considerably larger area of effect than I thought it was going to and dealt 10 damage. We're still alive though. I have a revival protocol, so... There are no overwatches either. Revival protocol plus kill drown with a grenade plus... I'm not sure how much I want to do this turn, because I can either revival protocol both the gunner and the technical, use the technical to shoot a rocket at like the stun lancer, or I can just revival protocol plus kill this drown. I have a lot of rockets. We have six turns. That's a long way to go as well. So we have to okay, sort of have to do a lot this turn. I think I want to grenade on this before I start shooting it with a shotgun. And I think the natural place to get that grenade from... ...is my specialist. So let's go Revival Protocol. You. here. It also means that I can sort of leave drones alive this turn. On your order. Sort of. Crit would be lovely. I crit and didn't kill. So even disoriented can get output from this technical this turn. No. That was unlucky. Shit, you can't see the mech. Oh boy. Alright. Let's try this. Thank you. I'm going. Swoop here and frag the mech. And. I'm pretty sure that we're going to win the fight. We just might be losing a soldier or two this turn. That's nice. That's also pretty nice. Wait, what? Why didn't he shoot the assault he was flanking? I guess he saw that as a lethal shot? Turns out you were incorrect. Five turns left. There are going to be reinforcements soon as well. I'm going to move up. Killing this guy because I think otherwise we like run out of the ability to actually rescue the rebels on this mission. Here, shoot, yeah.
Yeah, the specialist has to door hack, so... I don't even know if he can. He's very slow. Let's just dash out with you. I don't know for sure that we have enough time to complete the objective on this mission, and I think reinforcements are going to come, like, next turn, maybe. Four turns. Who is our fastest soldier? Carlos is pretty quick. Not somebody with a shotgun. Not somebody with a cannon. So it's either Floja with 15, 16 mobility. Copy that. Okay. We'll try. I don't know if the rebels are going to be able no to get to that far. Finally. Got it covered. Go, go. This would be a great time to have an officer on the mission. Good to go. Menace one five, hostile interceptors are. are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Attempting to gain entry. Did they release anything new for Stellaris since it released? I have not kept up with the game at all. So we're going to use our rookies to run interference basically for our Seems doable. actual soldiers to get out. I'm going. Tired of waiting around. We are treading a very, very, very dangerous timer. I'm on this. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Ten four. I don't think we're alone now here. There's a major Stellaris expansion. The game needed more stuff in it. Really? They should just take half of the stuff out of that game and then release that game on April 7th. Advent forces on the ground. They're behind me. Uh, other than the stun lancer. That looks fine. Getting it done. Do this. Copy that. It's very silly to me that I might actually beat this. With all of my soldiers still alive. Stand by. I'm okay with Overwatch. Okay. Nice. Out of time. Get to the evac point now. We got quite lucky with where those reinforcements dropped. Uh, I should have used a rebel instead of a rookie. My rebels don't have enough hit points though. 
Cat, what are you? Cat. I can handle that. I'm not sure what Cat is doing. Moving to position. Lars was bare bones on release. Was still status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Quite a lot more than they had support for. In terms of like the gameplay mechanics and UI, I thought. I think Stellaris was a very large game. On release. When it didn't really have any right to be. I don't know what my cat is doing. Second that he might just be trying to make noise so that I'll pay attention to him and give him food. Because the second that I moved, he ran to his food bowl. So it can't have been anything particularly important. Four. Let's go hail of bullets here. Mm, no center of mass though. Try lockdown. Lockdown. Eh, I'll try it. I don't know. I don't think it's amazing. Three new rebels are up to 12 in the haven. As long as we rolled well on faceless. West Asia looks like it might be my first liberated haven. And then I was gonna put together a team for this guy. That jailbreak squad. Uh, except I forgot to have any of the relevant soldiers come out of the mission unwounded, apparently. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I have to work out if I'm putting a scientist in the AWC right now.
I don't even have any money to build the laser weapons with anyway, and I'm not going to get any. I guess a troop column is coming up. Yeah, I guess a troop column is coming up. So all my specialists are gone. I'm gonna use this Shinobi plus like somebody else. Try to run the jailbreak. We're getting way too many missions at the moment because I'm on Intel and four havens at once. Can't really keep up. Okay, very light rescue from Sal with the Ghostwalker Shinobi. Gets me an engineer and an Advent intel lead. And a door hack. And the spokesman Firebrand grounded. Lock down the area. He's still talking. IP. Rulers can spawn in rebel missions? Uh, probably the retaliations they can. Oh, Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. Uh, 